breakfast? No. Once that is full, then we eat. It's nice to be important. What are you collecting for? It's the Buddhist centre. I didn't know there was one. Well, it's new. It's in Shawfield. It's nearly finished. And built completely from donations. We've just got to finish the roof. Maybe I could sign you up? Yeah, maybe. Where are you from? Are you, um, you from around here? Yeah, yeah. Don't get many Buddhist monks in Leatherbridge. Oh, I, I just like the outfit. <laughs> and the hairstyle. Oh, yeah, this all happened when I went travelling. So. Thailand. Oh, you've been? Yeah. Yeah, I stayed in a monastery myself. But where I was, the monks weren't allowed to handle cash, though. Some orders can, some orders can't, but we can. You look cold. Can you want something else as well? Oh, I'll get warm when I'm finished. Right, well, um... Look, uh, when I was in Thailand, I used to give the monks my food, so... I can't. I'm not until this is full. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take this, take it for later, go on. And, uh, at the same time... There you go. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. That's, that's amazing, that. Um, listen, eat more and you'll feel less cold and, and, and wear more clothes, don't suffer for the sake of it. If you ever feel unwell, come and see me. I'm at the Mill Health Centre. Oh, you're a doctor? Yeah. You should visit us at the centre. We've got a great cafe. Yeah. You know, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, not so great, sorry. What about the guy in the suit I saw? What did he give you? You came? Hmm. Got me thinking about whether bad things happen to good people and vice versa. Oh, well, I'm just a novice. You should really speak to my master. Is that who you came in with? Yeah, Jimba. I mean, he knows everything. Everything? Yeah, um... Well, you know what I mean, like, he's knowledgeable. I only hope that one day I can be the same. I'd have thought you'd have eaten that already. Oh, yeah, I wasn't really hungry. You looked hungry. So how did the collecting go? Yeah, good. Yeah. Where's the tin? Well, Jimbo took it. You know, I'm so glad that you were drawn here. Is that how you feel? You were missing something? Yeah. Well, is that how you feel too? Me? Yeah, is that... what led you to the monastery in Thailand and to give me 20 pounds? What is it that's troubling you? He will do what's right. Yeah, a friend of mine nearly just died, but the idea of rebirth didn't reassure me. Why not? He's done some bad things. As far as I can make out, karma dictates that he will be reborn in misery. But no, he can make amends no matter what he's done. Mm, but I've forgiven him, but what if the other people haven't? Well, they have to. Lord Buddha teaches it. But they're not Buddhist, are they? But if he's trying to make up for what he's done... But what if then... he can't? What did he do that was so bad, this friend of yours? No, it really was a friend, it's not me. Is it, though? Really? <laughs> so you let your colleague do something you wouldn't have, but you can't be any more specific? No. Or patient confidentiality? No, no, this is my other job as an FME. What's that? Uh, police doctor. Oh, so you're in the police? No, I just work with them sometimes. Right. So what got you interested in Buddhism? I needed something. Buddhism seemed the closest, I guess. So you went to Thailand? Yeah, looking for answers. You find them? Partly. Partly I'm still looking. Yeah, me too. So, I'll... I wasn't always called Ganyan. Jimba gave me that name. 
It means approaching virtue. So what were you called before? Sean. That's what your mum called you? Mum died when I was ten. Sorry. Then it was just me and my dad until Mary, who became my stepmom, came along. Then when I was 18 and about to go to university, my dad had a stroke. He died. Mary contested the will, she got the house, most of the cash, and kicked me out. I mean, I got enough money to see me through uni, but that had always been Dad's dream. You know, his son getting a degree. I, I couldn't see the point in it after that. So what did you do? I went travelling. And you worked things out on the way? Yeah, a little. You know, life was clearer going from place to place, but coming home... Have you been back to see your stepmom? No. She hates me. I remind her of her greed. What about other family? I've got this place. No friends? No. So this place is all you've got? Go on then, what else do I need? We all need friends. Yeah, well I don't. No? Friends can drag you down. Is that what yours did? Yeah. Before Jimbo found me. Found? Yeah, he saw me begging. Took me in. But you can't see any of your old friends. I wouldn't want to anyway. Anyway, I was thinking, but because you're a doctor and you're interested in Buddhism, and I know you've given already, but so I was the just only reason that you can stay in this place is because you collect money for them. Oh, Jimba lets me stay. Yeah, to collect money. It could be worse. With no family, no friends. Well, where else would I go? What if there was somewhere? What with? I've got no money. I'm... What if you did have? Just a note. Uh, Jimba, this is Dr. Clay from this morning. I was hoping he'd make another contribution. I think you better leave. Excuse me? And if you finish lunch, why are you still here? Sorry, Jimba. In the shrine room, no. Yes, Jimba. Uh, hang on. No, just leave it. It's all right. Just go. You sure? Yeah. You gonna be okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, then. So... Oh, can you? You were right. I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. But I thought you said you had nowhere to go. Oh, I don't. No money? Well, I'll go to a shelter or somewhere. I'll be fine. Well, you're not going to find them tonight, are you? Oh, I No, no, no. Take this. All right. Just get on the bus, get out of town, find a hostel, and then tomorrow call the social services. Oh, th thank you. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Where's Jimba? Oh, he's meditating. He, he didn't see me go. Well, what's he going to do when he finds out you've gone? Oh, he won't do anything. Not if he knows you're with the police. No, I'm not with the police, am I? Well, you work with them, you said. Yeah, sometimes. No, Jimbo won't want to get him involved. Thank you. You've been a star. Where's Kenyon? It's gone. Gone where? You said you were keeping him here, making it impossible for him to leave, so... You didn't give him money? Yeah, but he was already leaving when I had. What have you done? How much is gone? Um, the week's takings, about £450. And I thought I could trust him now. He's done this before? I tried not to put temptation in his way, no big notes. I take them from him. I don't want the police involved. I, I, I don't want him locked up. We want to get our money back, though, don't we? Did he take anything else? Just my bank card. Can you cancel it? No, if we're in time. Does he know the pin? I don't know. It was my birthday last week. So? So. It depends if he remembers. Lucky number eight, then five of the five precepts, four stages of enlightenment, and the seven ages of Buddha. Oh. Buddha's birthday, eighth uh, of the fourth, six twenty-three BC. Ugh. Come on. Just think. Not Buddha's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Jimba. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, bingo. That's priceless. Oi! Oh. Oh. You had to use the bank card, didn't you? You had to be greedy. Say your stepmom's a greedy one. Yeah, I haven't even got a stepmom. Why am I not surprised? Well, Jimbo won't make a complaint. No, maybe not, but I will. Oh, well, it's an easy guilty conscience. No, just to give you time so you can get one of your own. Hello, which service? Police, please. 